What's going on, arcade nerds? Um, MCR games always have a line of noise in the video. And every once in a while, um, someone on the forums and so on, they'll ask, hey, what's wrong with my Tron? Or what's wrong with my Spy Hunter? It's got this line of garbage on the side. What's going on? And, and then eventually someone chimes in and says, well, hey, that's just how it is. There's nothing you can do about it. It can't be fixed. That's just how the hardware was supposed to be. And, you know, I've seen that many times over the years. And, uh, you know, I never really thought much of it. And about a few, you know, a few weeks ago, I said, yeah, let me look into it and see if there's anything I can do. And so um, I found a way to fix it. Yes, there's a way to fix that line. And I even made circuit boards that look like this. Um, and those circuit boards would go right here. And it would allow you to remove the line that's on those MCR games. And so, I, believe it or not, I did, I did it all in one night. It's actually a really simple idea. Um, but um, all these boards came in. And uh, I tested it, and guess what? It worked. And you know, I was, you know, maybe maybe I ordered too much, but if if you buy these this small, you can get them really cheap. So, and the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. So I bought 500 blanks. I figure well, that's a lifetime supply, you know, and maybe I could sell these and make some money and so on. Um, well, I found an even better way to do that. Uh, so, rather than me trying to sell you some snake oil PCB, I'm going to show you a way you could hack your board so you don't need no stupid PCB, and uh, you can remove that line yourself. Um, <clears throat> now, the way this 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 would have worked is you'd have had to put it here and solder a wire here and a wire to uh, positive to you know to to power. And yes, that would have worked but there's an even better way and it's in the method is in between e8 and e9 now <clears throat> yeah so anyways let me show you how look you know what just just to make inter interesting video let me explain how my circuit worked and then how this circuit how this board modification uh works as i'm sure many of you already know monitors and video games, TVs, and whatever draw lines to make a picture. So like here's your picture screen and the monitor will draw a line, a line, a line, and keep drawing lines and during the course of these lines being drawn it'll change the colors and so on until you have a complete picture and it shows what's going on on the screen. Well, um, so it just so happens that the first line that's being drawn with MCR games is the line that contains all the garbage. It also just so happens that the next line down is where is where the actual game actually starts. So if we if we were to remove that line of garbage, um, we would get rid of that noise, right? So there is no signal that says uh, just a, just a few. A short time after V blank, so we're going to have to make our own signal. By the way, that that signal is called V blank. Now, if you were to have a here's a picture again. Let's say right between here and right between here is your picture. Okay. Now the upper and lower area is blanked, which means it's shut off, so you can't see it. So, <clears throat> let's say we were to hijack this blank signal, and if we were to make it a little bit longer, we could at least cut off the first one or two lines of the picture. So, this technically is not a fix 
for the problem that MCR games have, but it is a solution. Um, <clears throat> it's, it doesn't fix the problem, it hides the problem. Does that make sense? <coughs> okay, so here is Tron, sch Tron schematics, which is the same schematics as, you know, many uh, Satan's Hollow and uh, uh, Twin Tigers or whatever it was. You know, all kinds of different games, right? So here's our V blank signal. This is where it normally blanks the image, right? Well, in my test circuit, my, my, um, we had a diode that came right off of that. So, when this is high, you, you, you have a, an on period of here and here, okay? when this signal is high okay so now we have this wire going to this diode and we're going to make what's called an RC circuit why is it called an RC circuit because it has a resistor and a capacitor right so we're going to put, put, put this to ground so what does this circuit do well, remember that when this is high, the V blank is on, right? And this diode will allow voltage to go through one way, but it can't go the other way, okay? So this chip is going to pull that signal high, or it's gonna pull the signal low, okay? Now, this can only put the signal high. It cannot pull the signal low anymore on its own because we now have a diode, right? Well, we still have to pull that signal low or all data will be lost. So, what it does is it goes through this resistor and discharges this, uh, it, in other words, it, makes, it allows this to go back low, okay? But during the process of going high, it charged this capacitor. So, if, if our normal signal would be like this, now the new signal will be like that. Now you see how there's how this is on for a longer period of time than original. The reason why, and let me say it again, I'm trying to make it simple. Um, this capacitor is charged, and, and it'll take a while to discharge. It'll take a while to charge. So somewhere during this pulse, the capacitor took a while to charge, and now it's going to take a while to discharge. Does that make sense? And so, uh, when you when you look at it with, through with with TTL signals, it's really something like this. Okay. So, what that did was, it increased the blank time, which just so happens to remove the uh, that that noise. Okay. So now we have this, but we need to invert that signal, and this is called an inverter. Okay. So when this is when this side is high this side will be low. When I say high and low, I'm talking about a voltage or no voltage, okay? Now, <clears throat> you can also call it ones and zeros and so on. So now we've inverted it. So remember how before it was only on during these periods of time? Now it will be off during those periods of time. Does that make sense? So, now we're going to put, uh, let's put three AND gates. Let's connect one of these piece. And let's make this one, the input, red. This is the normal red. And over here we have green. Over here we have blue. Now these are the red, green, and blue signals coming right off of your circuit board, right? And they have to be anded with this signal, our new modified signal. Now if you don't know what an AND gate is, let's say we have my crappy drawing, an AND gate, right? Well this has to be high and this has to be high in order for this to be uh, high. 
That makes sense? So the answer is in the name of the gate. If this and this is high, then this output will also be high. So we changed the we changed we inverted the signal. We're using the original RGB and now the signal is slightly delayed. And so we were able to remove that uh, that one or two lines of garbage. Now, can you see anything wrong with this circuit? There's there's a few things wrong with this circuit. Uh, but this was just as a test um, to see if my good circuit would actually work. Um, the things that are wrong with it is that's a digital circuit. We need an analog circuit. How, how could you possibly uh, make a control an analog circuit with just one bit? Um, you can't. So I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think there's uh, three bits per color, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And those good resistors. Um, for example, here's a resistor. And each of those resistors are different values. And so depending on which bits are on, it shows different intensities of each color. So I had to make an analog circuit. And what I did was I used that, oh, uh, what was it with the name of the chip? Oh, I'm looking at that board now. I forget the name of the chip. Ah, 7314 video amplifier. This chip right here. And uh, that amplified the signal, but before that I used a digital circuit to pull the, uh, the input down. Does that make sense? Okay, so yeah, that was my little test thing, and sure, it, it worked, but there's an even better way, which is, you know, oh well. I, I didn't put much thought into this. What I did was, I, I took one night and I says, hey, let's look at this. Hey, look, I found a fix. And then when I got the boards, I looked at the boards. You know, let me look at that schematic. This seems a little overcomplicated, doesn't it? You know? So I looked at the schematic, and yeah, I was barking up the wrong tree. Sure, it may work, but there is an easier way. If I'm asking you to solder like 10 points on a, on a PCB onto your board, and then I find a fix where you solder like three points with little components, I'm kind of selling you a snake oil circuit board. You know what I mean? So it's something you could could fix yourself. You don't need anyone to figure it out for you. So, <clears throat> so this is what I'm what I'm referring to. Well, remember our schematic. We have here E E8 is the inverted um, V blank, and V blank pin eight of E9. I should say. I'm sorry. Pin. Pin 8 of E9 goes to pin 9 of E8 right here. This area right here is where, is where we're creating our new propagation delay. So if we were to look at the board, we would see two chips. They're side by side. This one. And this one. Okay, now those are <clears throat> E8 and E9, okay? I know I have terrible handwriting, terrible drawing skills. So these, these chips have legs off them, right? Well, you have a leg right here, and what you can do is you can snip that leg right here. So now we snip that leg and you can put a diode right here on the board. Now if you're going to put a diode here, I'm going to draw a picture of a diode rather than show you the schematic. What we're going to do is we're going to put a diode right here and that diode is a 1N4148. I don't need to draw that out. 1N4148. Now we're going to connect that to this pin which is 1 up from the bottom, okay? Now, we need to get a 2.2K <clears throat> 2, 2 resistor and a capacitor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a capacitor. This is a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. I'm going to draw a picture of a capacitor. I know, that's terrible. There's my picture of a capacitor, right? And I'm going to draw a picture of 
my resistor. We're going to connect them just like that. See that? And with these two leads, we're going to connect it from this pin, which is ground, to this pin right here. So I'm going to put it right over top of this. That is my capacitor and my resistor. Oh god, that's terrible. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Anyway, so let me show you a picture of what I did on my board, and then I'll show you guys a picture of the screen. <clears throat> okay, as you can see here, here is E8 and E9. This is the, this is the pin that you can cut. And in my situation, I cut a trace in the board, and that, that's really not the best way to go. Um, I just I figured it out and I was in a hurry and I couldn't find these and you know I don't suggest that it's kind of a bush league thing to do so that's why I'm telling you to cut close to the board get a tool like this and cut this pin and lift this pin solder your diode to this pin and it's kind of kind of nice to bend your diode bend the leads of your components before you stick them on there so they kind of look as neat as possible Anyway, so this end of the diode is soldered here. It goes right to here, the second pin up, right? And here's my capacitor, and right here's my 2.2K um, resistor. So remember, this is a 0.1 microfarad farad capacitor and a 2.2K resistor. So all we're doing is we're basically making a propagation delay circuit on the board rather than do all kinds of complicated bull crap on, you know, by making a circuit board. And so these are connected to ground right here. So let me turn on the screen and show you guys what MCR game looks like without that stupid noise, that noisy line on the screen. And there we go. Hold on, we got this stupid reflection. So I'm going to hold a circuit board over the thing so you can see that there's no. Oh, geez, it's that bright also. Okay. I'm going to hold a circuit board and a piece of paper over this. See? No line. Now, uh, people, uh, there's another fix for this. It's the easy way, but some people complain about it. For example, if I wanted to, I could... Ah, jeez, showing this one-handed. See how I can expand, widen the picture? Now, if you wanted to, you could widen the picture until that line is off screen. But some people don't like that option because when you have the full screen games in Tron and so on, it will cut off some of the graphics also on the side of the screen. So now there's no need to cut off any graphics. Just install that little mod I showed you and all MCR games will not have that stupid line anymore. Jeez. I don't want anyone to say it didn't happen. Look, yeah. <laughs> no line. All right, guys, I guess that's it. Um, if you guys like like this kind of crap, please subscribe. I'm always doing random things. Um, I'm gonna try to pick up, pick it up, pick up the pace, and do some more videos recently. And I know I've been kind of slacking a bit. But anyways, uh, if you guys like this kind of stuff, please subscribe. Have a good day.